moved to Red Deer in 2002 as a single parent, uh, raised my daughter here, got married in 2011, worked uh, under the Chatters Blanket for 10 years, um, got to really know the people of Red Deer through that one-on-one -on -one service that I provided. Uh, as I've gotten older, I truly have listened to and heard the struggles of Red Deerians, and I just feel that I'm in that place now with my children grown up and moved out, that I have the time to put towards, you know, helping out and being a part. I would really love to help the homeless that are, like, we, we have seen a growth in homelessness due to the economy changes. Um, and a lot of people seem to cast them aside. They only seem to notice homeless people when we're talking about refugees. And I personally would love to see uh, homes being provided for people who have no other way uh, to, I don't know, I guess, grow themselves as people without that. You can't get a job. You can't, uh, you know, really get help with addictions. You can't get help with your mental instabilities, things like that. All these things you need a home for. Um, as well as I would love to see, basically, the city look at those who are struggling with the lower incomes. Everybody complains about how the prices within the city keep going up, uh, the cost of housing, the cost of utilities. Um, people are not making more money to get that difference uh, made. So I would love to see, I don't know, legislation put in for the lower income people uh, so they don't have to feel left out as much. Because the middle class is always the one that we're, the middle class and the wealthy are always helped out, but those who are less fortunate always seem to be in that bucket. And I think we can raise everybody up within this city because this city is a strong city. We've always helped each other out, so I want to continue that from the ground up.